It's the Logan Power Show Inspirational and motivational It's the Logan Power Show Informational to help you grow Logan, Logan, Logan Logan Power Show and now the host, Calvin Logan. Hey everybody, welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan. And I thank y'all for watching here live episode of the Logan Power Show. I got a man who's coming all the way from Croatia. And he is 6'10". Uh, he'll be coming to us to the College of Charleston. Uh, he has big shoes to fill. Uh, he's the one of Mr. Mr. Ant Brozovic. How you doing today, sir? I'm good, man. How are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you too, man. Good to see you as well. Uh, man, like I said, just going over a couple of things in your basketball career, uh, coming from Oklahoma State, Eastern Oklahoma State, uh, Division II basketball, and now you're playing for the College of Charleston, Division I males basketball. Uh, let's get to your upbringing. Coming from Croatia, you think about your big players, Tony Kukoc. Uh, Croatia's had a, a monster monster time you would say from the 90s regards to players who have developed their game uh what made you say to yourself you know i want to play this game of basketball you know i i just fell in love with the game when i was seven uh back then you know i was i was already taller than, than most of my classmates and then the friends that i knew so my dad is pretty tall too so there, there was no like argument on what should i play and uh yeah man the rest is history what can i say i've been playing basketball ever since and uh, i'm not you know, I I don't think there is anything in life I can do better than play basketball. I got you. Now, 6'10", um, they say right now, stats-wide going to Oklahoma, 17 and 10, a double-double guy, uh, inside, outside, got a, got a nice long range, um, hit it from deep. Who do you t tailor your game after? Because, um, you know, with six, you know, playing the NBA, we as you know, you'd be a stretch four, maybe a stretch five. Uh, coming in, we know that you're going to get some pounds and gain it. Um, but who do you tell your game after? Who have you been watching growing up as a kid? So you know what? I'm going to get my game sort of similar to that person as I play. Right. So growing up, I used to watch the guys like, you know, Tim Duncan, Kevin Love when he was with the Cavs and stuff. So I always try to take something from everybody, you know, see what, what they can do and how they do it. And that's how I try to model my, model my game after, you know, there's not a one particular guy that I would, you know, compare my game to. But uh, since there's a lot of great players in the league today, you can always pick something from somebody. So I think that helps develop my game overall. And that's what I'm trying to do later, too. I got it. Well, like again, you know, Carlos Charlton does need, you know, definitely some size, a guy who has a big body who can put it in. Uh, going for yourself. 27 out of 30 games while you were at Oklahoma State, you were in the you were in the double double factor. 72 per 72.5 percent from the three point line. 72.5 percent from the free throw line. Excuse me. 33 percent from the actual three point line. Being a Kevin Love, a guy who can stretch the floor, uh, and you know, and looking after you know Tim Duncan, Mr. Fundamentals himself. Uh, so. We understand that, you know, your dad is tall, you're tall as well. But there's always people you say to yourself, like, hey, they can be tall, but they don't have all the particulars to make them to be where you need to be at. Um, so where do you see this overall game of yours going when it's all said and done? Yeah, so I, I think the basketball is going uh, the direction where, where, you know, a player needs to be very versatile you know he's he needs to be able to shoot to to play at the high level you know mobile play multiple positions be able to switch on defense and so that's why i think it's it's important to you know adjust my game to, to where i play with and who i play against um coming from d2 uh, i had a pretty solid year uh and i've been at college of charleston for three months now and the game is totally different than when i was used to play at d2 i mean guys are just like everybody's so quicker bigger you know, I need to put extra, extra work to, you know, to catch up with the rest of the guys. So uh, the game is so much different, but I think I'm on, I'm in a, you know, good path. I think I have a lot of room to work on. So I'm looking forward to it. 
Got it. Well, you know, shooting three thirty three percent in college from the three point line is very dangerous. You know, hitting at least over seventy percent from the free throw line, and that knows if you go to if you go to the hole and you bang with the big boys, we're gonna we're gonna count at least seven out of ten. And having a double double shows that you learn how to make your game balance. Uh, you mentioned some things you want to actually work on or focus on. Is there one thing in particular? We know about the size and the speed, but one thing in particular you want to focus on coming into this upcoming season for yourself? I think I would definitely try to work on my footwork more. Um, I think on the offensive end, I think I'm pretty solid there, but uh, here it's going to be a lot of switching, a lot of times where I'm going to be going up against, you know, quicker guards, quicker players, where I just need to have my feet moving better, uh, you know, to close out gaps and stuff. So that's one particular part, uh, part where I think I need to work more on and, and I'm doing it. So. Absolutely. Now, we always know being a student athlete, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's important to keep your grades up. Uh, who was the, the educator in the house? You know, you know, you got mom or dad. Who was the one who said, like, you know, hey, you're going to play this sport, but you keep your books together. Who was the one who's always behind on the books in the house? Right. It's it's definitely my mom. You know, my, my, my dad is catching up with my basketball when he can. But my mom is definitely the one who, who puts the education first, even though they're both. Uh, highly educated people you know my dad is a doctor my mom's a teacher but uh it's always been like you know school first and then everything else also coach kelsey likes you know um making sure we stay on top of our academics and then basketball you know like he says the ball is gonna stop bouncing one time so we gotta make sure we we get our degree and so so we can you know always do something in our lives after basketball absolutely so for yourself after basketball like when it's all said and done when you when you hang up the shoes what do you want to do uh, there's a lot of things. I uh, I still plan on playing basketball for a while, so I haven't really been thinking of much about what I want to do after the college. There are some things that I really like. Um, I, I definitely like to stay in sports, uh, do something about it, maybe coach one day. But uh, it's a it's a, I still I still plan to play for a while, like I said. So I think I'll have time to think about it later. I got it. <laughs> who you, who was the biggest supporter or helped you get your game to develop to where it is? I know a lot of people don't understand some of the challenges just to be on the court. But you saying I'm coming from Croatia and I'm playing Division II basketball and then I'm transferring out to playing Division I basketball. We, you know, some people make it sound like it's, it's so easy, but it's not easy. But who was the person that sort of sort of pushed you and said, you know, I'm going to help develop you as a kid to get you to where you are now? I would say definitely my whole family always had my back when it came when it was basketball. Uh, not only my my close family, but my relatives as well, my friends, my close friends. Uh, there is no way I would I would be sitting here with you today with, if without the help of them. Obviously, you know I think every kid needs a parent support to 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 succeed in any sports. So um, yeah, it's it's mostly my parents. My dad helped me a lot. My mom helped me a lot. So. My brother plays basketball too. He's 18. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do the same thing with him, and uh, you know, guide and mentor him. So, you know, it's. I'm really blessed and thankful for it, to be honest. Absolutely, and I think we're blessed to say that your parents, your mother being an educator, your father being a doctor, um, they understand that you know they're supporting you in your vision, even even supporting you traveling from all right. from Croatia to the United States. That's a lot of faith. Uh, when did you say to yourself, you know what, mom and dad, you know, maybe praying the pro league, the European league may not be the, the right move, but I'm going to come out all the way to the United States to play basketball. What was that conversation like saying, you know, I'm going to transfer all across overseas to play ball? You know, it was a it was a big decision to make. Um, I always say I'm the first guy in my whole family tree to ever go to the United States. So. It's it's been a tough decision for me, for my parents. Everybody was kind of skeptical. How's that going to look like? You know, a lot of questions, new world, pretty much. But, um, you know, it turned out to be a great thing for me. I, I enjoyed every second of being there. And, and, and uh, it helped me grow, develop as a man and as a player. So it's it's just, I, I don't know what to say. It's It's been a great two, back two years of life that I had in USA for the previous year since I was there, yes. I got it. 
Uh, where's your faith at? I know a lot of times we say there there is teams in the NBA. Um, there's the G League. Uh, there is overseas playing basketball. Um, what's the goal? What does you say? Like, hey, this is when I got the ball in my hand. I want to what? I want to be what? You want to be in the NBA? You, where do you want to be at when it's all when for yourself after get after college play? After play well, college NBA college. is definitely. I mean, when when somebody's you know, starts playing basketball, I think NBA is the ultimate goal, you know. But uh, to me personally, I, I think I stopped thinking about it and I just want to be, you know, when when it's all said and done, I just want to say, okay, I accomplished to be the best version of myself. It don't really matter if it's NBA, G League, Euro League, whatever. So I think it's just fulfilling your full potential. And, uh, you know, playing in the NBA, I, I, I think, you know, I don't, I don't even know what percentage of the people who ever play basketball end up in the NBA. So... I'm gonna keep fighting for it. I'm gonna keep, you know, working hard, and uh, you know, never day, you never know. Maybe one day, uh, I'll step on the NBA court. So that's it. That's it. Well, I mean, you, you do a leap of faith right now. I mean, a lot of people don't understand playing collegiate sports. That's even that's another whole fraternity, or Absolutely. you know, <laughs> by itself. I mean, take it from personal experience. Who's who's been in that realm? Uh, there are certain things that people cannot say they've done. Play collegiate sports, been in the military, uh, been in law enforcement, you know, firefighter, a teacher, a doctor. Not everyone has an opportunity to get into those things. And you're knocking out some things that I could tell a lot of people will say, yeah, I get it. But he's doing things that everyone can say they can actually do on and off right. the course. Um, right. If you were to have the opportunity – you know, who was your favorite team growing up? Like basketball, pro team, like, you know, basketball. Who who the team you like? Who yeah. you like? Oh, I always liked the Lakers. I always liked the Lakers. They were my team, you know. Uh, I remember waking up at 4 in the morning uh, because of the time difference, obviously. You know, Lakers play on the West Coast. It was pretty late here when I had to wake up to watch the games. Uh, Kobe was my guy always, you know. I, I think, you know, that helped me actually, you know, fall in, fall, fall in love with the game more while watching those guys play. And uh, it's always going to be my team. They haven't done really good this year, but hopefully we'll bounce back next. <laughs> well, you know, hey, listen, if the Lakers sign you, you know, I'll be the first one with the jersey. I'm a Laker fan myself. Uh, uh -huh. I, I know that we need size and a, a, a 16 guy like yourself. I think that, you know, we have to look at the game of basketball has evolved. Um, yeah. There's no such thing as – if you're six ten, oh, he's in the post. Oh, you got sixteen yep. guy. He be in the corner shooting the yep. Sixteen guy got handles. Um, he can make an assist. He can do everything. He can he can play all five positions. Uh, you, you have a big shoes to fill because you guys had a last year. You know, College of Charleston basketball um, had a good run. You know, in yep. the in the tourney, they were close to making it to the dance. Uh -huh. And they brought you here for a reason, um, to stretch the floor and to make a huge splash <laughs> on the court. Uh, what do you want to see done? What has Coach said that you he wants to see you do this season that you didn't get a chance to do previously from your previous school? So everything uh, he said to me, he just, he just wants me to do things that I did in my previous college. Um, and that is, you know, playing in a post, stretching the floor, uh, switching, passing, passing the ball, distributing. So uh, it's it's a way different, like I said, in the, than in my previous college. But uh, the system we have at College of Charleston, I think it really fits me well. And I think we have a great team this year. Uh, guys are just amazing. You know, do I practice with them every day. Like these guys are really good and they push me each day to be better. I push them as well. So uh, the, I can't wait for the season to start and, and see what we're going to be about. But I'm really confident. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Absolutely. Well, I'm looking forward to you uh, this Absolutely. season. <laughs> and uh, for those who watch College Charleston men's basketball, uh, my man, Ant Bozovic, is, is basically going to be there. He's going to be making some things happen. Uh, we're looking forward to the upcoming season. Uh, we're claiming just for favor for you on and off the court. Uh, we claim that uh, you do something big, man. It's um, and what you're majoring? What you're majoring uh, for for school? I, I'm majoring in uh, political science, and I'm minoring in business. <laughs> hey, six ten, 
man is going to be running the political office. I can see you right now. Absolutely. <laughs> Your parents talk about, like, say, what are you doing? So, like, listen, like I said, pick up the basketball and he'd be the prime minister yeah. for the people of Croatia. They'd be saying, like, yep, that's one of our own. He came through. That's, um, right. that's right. <laughs> what that's it. Now, think about it. Imagine, um, Have you ever thought about getting on the Croatian team when you get an opportunity, playing for them and and serving in serving your country when the Olympics happen uh, coming in the next couple of years? You ever thought about playing on the Croatian team? Absolutely. Well, I said I said um, that's my biggest goal in basketball, winning the winning any medal for for Croatian national team because we haven't won one in almost thirty years, and it, it it's really bad because. I think we have so much talent for the basketball. We have a couple guys in the NBA too. We have the team, but you know, um, if if there is ever going to be a chance, and and I happen to be on the team that's going to win a medal, I think that's going to be like a crown to my whole career. And I don't think I will never have to accomplish anything else if I do that. So that's what I'm working for. Yes, your mom probably have you have your picture right in her classroom, telling people that that is my son. He. <laughs> He's on the team. That is that is right. That is right. She probably doesn't. She just doesn't. She just doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> so all said and done, um, when you think about the game of basketball, um, it has changed in the past twenty two years. Um, yeah. If you think about the the dream team of nineteen ninety two. Uh, you know, you think about you, you mentioned 30 plus years, you know, Croatia uh, has been, you know, been close, very close. You know, just just having gone over the hump, just the, the squad. I mean, you think about the, the Vladi Divac squad, um, this, the squad that they had that was something very dynamic. The Tony Ku coaches um, that, you know, people don't understand that that squad was very lethal. It's the problem is that. <laughs> You know, so many heavy hitters with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, right. David Robinson, Patrick Ewing, uh, Carl Malone, you know, Charles Barkley, John Stockton, Christian Leitner. I mean, you had you had a squad together that, you know, and Larry Bird. Where they can, yeah, that's they can... the team. That's the team that we lost in the finals against in 92 in Barcelona, the Olympics. It was Croatia and USA. That's the last time we won the medal. So uh, I'm not really pressed about it. You know, if it, if it had to be somebody, make it be a dream team, you know, one of the best teams ever, you know, formatted on the paper. So I catch it. Is any Croatian player in the NBA that you uh that you like that anyone's game that you say you like, you know, hey, I like so that game. Our, we have we have um, a couple NBA guys. We have Charge from the Phoenix and we got a uh, Bogdanovic from Utah. So uh, you know those are guys in those are our guys in the NBA and they're supposed to, you know, lead our team on um, European championship. This year it starts in September. So uh it's gonna be it's going to be a great tournament. I think I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. What we're, what we're going to offer there. So uh, I don't know how it's going to end up. Hopefully good for us, but we'll see. I got it, sir. Well, Hey, again, we want to appreciate you coming to Logan power show. Uh, Absolutely. We, we want us you to do some great things. Keep us updated. And for those that are watching us right now, understand this. Remember that man, I call him AB. My man, AB is going to do some big things here for the team of college of Charleston men's basketball. He's going to be some great things for us. Hey, I want y'all to keep watching. My name is Calvin Logan Powerster, nationwide, worldwide. We love you. And we'll see you soon. It's the Logan Power Show. Inspirational and motivational. It's the Logan Power Show. Informational to help you grow. Logan, Logan, Logan Power Show